Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2. As you probably know, iOS 18.2 is currently on its second beta and it's an amazing update. Already we have some amazing new features and changes, especially the new set of Apple intelligence features, but there is a lot more coming to the new iOS 18.2 and we're gonna talk about that in this video. So we have some amazing new features that we actually have been expecting for a really long time to come to iOS 18. So let's get started here with the first feature, which is currently not available with the second beta of iOS 18.2, but it will most likely be here very, very soon. Now the reports are claiming that Apple is actually working on the new feature called battery intelligence. What this feature will do is that it will show you the time remaining to charge your iPhone. That will most likely be part of the new Apple intelligence features. I would really love to see this feature on other devices as well, but most likely this will be a feature exclusive to the newer devices that do support the new Apple intelligence features. But of course, this is a must have feature. It should have been here a long time ago. The ability to see how much it will actually require, how much time it will require to charge your battery that is a must-have feature and finally is coming and most likely it will be here in the next couple of betas of iOS 18.2. Now with 18.2, you know that we have now a pretty cool new feature for Safari. Whenever you're downloading something from Safari, you will be able to actually see it on the dynamic island. Just like that, you will see the download. And of course, you will be able to see how much it has been already downloaded, how much you have to go, and of course, even stop the download from there. But with the latest update, we also get this on the lock screen. So whenever you go to your lock screen, you will see here the live activity for your Safari download, which is really, really awesome. Now you will be able to actually see your downloads progress without having to unlock your device. Now a similar feature has been added to iOS 18.2 for car motion cues. So if you have that enabled, which you can actually enable by going to settings under accessibility, you will find it right here. You can set it on automatic or switch it to always on. If you have this enabled on your device, then you will also be able to see it via the live activity directly from the lock screen of your iPhone. And right here on the settings app, as you can notice here, we have tinted icons. Now Apple did bring the dark mode icons for the settings app, but they also did bring the tinted icons. So based on which tint you have on your home screen, they will actually change. So let's just try that here for a second. So if we go ahead and add like a new tint here to the icons, they will also change on the settings app, which is really awesome. Another feature we have to talk about here is the in integration of ChatGPT with Siri on iOS 18.2. Now, when you have this enabled and you go into your settings, go under Apple Intelligence and Siri, and then go to extensions here for ChatGPT, you will see something called here over limit. Now, basically what that is, is a limit that ChatGPT has for ChatGPT 4.0, but you still can actually use it. You can use it with Siri, so that will be there and we'll have also an option to actually upgrade to ChatGPT Plus. But still, even without the ChatGPT Plus, you will be able to use ChatGPT with Siri. All you have to do is basically ask Siri, whenever you ask a question, is just basically use ChatGPT to answer the answer, to answer the question that you need, like something like this. Ask ChatGPT, how's the weather today in New York City? And as you can see, it's working right there. It says working with ChatGPT. That means that you will get the result not from Siri, but from ChatGPT, even though right there, it still says that I'm over the limit for the past 24 hours. Another cool new feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.2 is the ability to connect to your Mac and now trust the device using Face ID. That's an amazing feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.2, making it, of course, much simpler and much, much faster to connect to your Mac. Now, another change here for Safari, and this is only for the EU, 
if you open Safari for the first time, once you have updated to iOS 18.2, it will show you a pop-up requesting you to actually select your default browser. So if you have third-party browsers installed on your iPhone, then you will get the chance to choose your default browser the first time you open Safari with the new iOS 18.2. Now 18.2 also brings an improvements to the Siri voice so you can go ahead and basically try it out but it's a bit different and in my opinion it's a bit more natural. How can I turn on location services on the iPhone? First go to the settings app, second tap on privacy and security. And as you might notice right there, it has actually been improved and I think it sounds way more natural. And Image Wand has also been improved with the second beta of iOS 18.2. Now, of course, this is a great feature to have. You can just select a text and make it basically into an image or you can even just sketch something. It will create an image for you. But in my opinion, it works much, much better with the second beta. And you can just add anything you want here to the description. You should know this if you have a device on iOS 18.2 and you use this feature. So if I just add like a prompt there, to create like a red car in this case i can just go ahead and add any other thing i want and it will basically continue to add to that image so i can just go ahead and type anything else i want and it will recreate that image based on anything that i add here and of course you can go ahead and tap the plus button if you want to switch to different styles of images which is really awesome and now that we're done with these new features and changes, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the battery and see how the device has been performing here. Now we have here an iPhone 15 Pro Max with the battery health at 91%. So in the last 10 days right here, we have about 120% battery usage. We're at 10 hours, 29 minutes right here, 140%, 11 hours, 13 minutes and right here, 110%. 10 hours 34 minutes which is actually great again you could see right there the battery health is actually at 91 percent and it's actually keeping up really really good with ios 18.2 even though we're just on the second beta of this update and here's my latest performance test that I did on this device with Geekbench 6. And you can see an improvement there on the multi-core score. So we had it at 7,281, while now we have it at 7,306. While the single core score right there also has just dropped a point, but it's basically the same, 2,958. And now it's at 2,957. So also the performance of iOS 18.2 is actually quite good. Again, we're just still on beta two and it should improve in the next betas and when to expect the new betas well i believe that apple should release another beta next week i would expect them actually to move on a weekly schedule until the final release so maybe somewhere around here or here on the 12th or 11th of november we should see beta 3 then beta 4 beta 5 and then a beta 6 before we move on to the rc version which might be right here on the 9th or the 10th of december as i'm expecting that apple will release this update before the holiday week and that should be right here december 16th is the day that i believe apple will release ios 18.2 to the public so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more ios 18.2 videos and I'll see you on the next one.